All right. In this video, we are going to put Adobe Firefly and Mid Journey version five to the test for print on demand designs. That's what we're going to be doing. I'm gonna be testing five different prompts. This is going to be a direct shootout. So if you're wondering what one is going to create a better result, well, stick around because that's what we're gonna do in this video. Now, just a quick timeout. We are using the Adobe Firefly beta at the time of this recording. And in their terms of service, it does say right now in beta, you cannot use it for commercial use, but once they take it out of beta, there will be commercial use available. Right now, Mid Journey version five, they are saying that if you are on their paid plan, it is commercially available to use. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the first prompt that I'm gonna be using is for bass fishing. Now I'm not a bass fisherman, but I do know that they do pretty well on Etsy. So I'm just looking through here and I mean, we just have a bass here that's jumping through the water with a little bit of water splashing. Pretty, pretty typical, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what these tools will spit out. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe Firefly, the beta version, and as you can see, there's these three that they're offering, but this one is coming soon, recolor vectors. The text effects is available. We're not gonna play with that yet today. We're gonna do that in another video. And then we have text to image right here. That's the one we're gonna focus on. So I'm gonna click generate, and you can see, you can scroll through all of the ones that have been created. Pretty amazing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here, describe the image you want to generate, English only. So I'm gonna go right here and I am going to put in my prompt. Bass fish jumping with water splashing from tail on white background. And the reason why I put it on a white background, if you're wondering, is it's easier to cut out in Canva or Photoshop or any other editing tool. So that's the reason for that. Let's go ahead and click generate. All right, so as you can see, it's not technically on a white background, but it's on a solid background. So I'm okay with that. These are pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scroll through what these look like. Now, the cool thing is, these are all pretty cool, by the way, uh, but I might wanna try this one for digital art. Well, if I do that, what I'll have to do is click on that, and then I will have to generate it again. So let's go ahead and do it. And if you look at these, they look pretty similar. There's not much difference. Let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and try taking this off with water splashing, right, from tail. Let's just take that off and let's see what we get from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. Now this one here still gave me some water splashing here uh, and here and here. Well, obviously because it's already jumping. So it's did an okay job, not bad, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and see what mid journey gives us now with that same prompt that I used in the beginning. So in mid journey, you can see right here, all I need to do is put in the forward slash imagine and then prompt. And then from there, I just put in my prompt. Like I said, this is the user interface. This is all you get. So this is what came back from Mid Journey version five. Not too bad. They are very realistic. These are very realistic, a little bit more realistic than the other version of it in Adobe Firefly. Now, here's what I'm thinking though. I don't want this to look as real. I want this to be more of line art. So maybe what I should do is put line art in the prompt and see what that gives me. So let's give that a shot. So as you can see here, I put line art drawing of bass fish jumping with water splashing from tail on white background. And then this is what it gave me, which it looks a lot better, right? It's not as realistic. And this looks more like something I would cut out and then put on a shirt or put on a mug or some other item or product that I'd create for bass fishing for print on demand. And if I click in, I mean, look at the detail on these, it's really, really good. So let's go ahead and see what Adobe Firefly does with that extra little command there. So we're gonna come back over here to Adobe Firefly. We're gonna put in that same command. Now I can choose to clear this digital art. art. Let's see what happens if I don't put any of those in, I just leave it as none. Let's see what happens. All right, so not bad, it's definitely different. It doesn't look as like much of a sketch, but let's just go ahead and see what it gave us. So it's definitely different. It's definitely usable. I like it, but it is different, right? So if we look at this compared to this, it's uh, it's definitely a different look, but that's okay. But uh, which one you like is totally up to you, but definitely different. Now let's go ahead and just select graphic 
and let's see what happens. Yeah, it didn't really make it any different or any better in my opinion. So even just sticking with none, that might be that might be the way to go here. Because if you remember, I put line art drawing. If I didn't put that in there, then maybe in Adobe Firefly, then I would want to go and try to select one of these other ones. But I think in this case, if I'm gonna leave it at none, I'm gonna put in line art drawing of bass. This is what I'm going to get. These are pretty good. So let's go ahead and move on to another prompt and see what we can get. So my next prompt is gonna be something to create an element like this, like a horse galloping with some floral flowers, whatever, running through it. Let's go ahead and see what we get. So the prompt I'm gonna use is horse galloping silhouette line art with floral flowers on white background. Let's see what we get. All right, so this again is, it's okay, it looks pretty good, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. So let me go ahead and just put graphic in here and see what happens. All right, now this is better. Uh, I don't know that I want it to be all black, but I could very easily take that and turn that into white in Adobe Photoshop or in Canva. So this is a lot closer. Let's do art and see what comes back. All right, and again, not too bad. So I'm kind of happy with this, but it's interesting to see what it kicked back. Let's go ahead and see what Mid Journey version five gives us. All right, so Mid Journey gave me this, which actually is probably better in my opinion for what I was going after. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and we can kind of see. So yeah, this is definitely a better first take. Uh, I definitely like this one better. So I would say on this one, Mid Journey was giving me more of what I wanted. All right, so the next one I'm going to attempt to create is this right here. I'm going to create a succulent and some cactuses, but I'm gonna do the first prompt as just this one element. I think that's also something whenever you're doing print on demand items is maybe don't try to create everything. I mean, you can try, but sometimes it's gonna be easier to create individual elements. So in this case, I'm going to do the succulent first and then I'm going to do the cactus. And by the way, this is a pretty funny shirt. What the fuckulent? It's pretty cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and use green succulents in terracotta flower pot on white background and it's selected as art. Let's just go ahead and do this as none and let's see what we get. All right, well, I mean, these are really nice. Uh, it's not 100% what I was going after. This one here is a little bit too much down on the succulent. This one here is pretty good. Uh, this one here is probably not the right angle and this one here is pretty good. But what if we just go ahead and select art and see what we get? All right, so I mean, this is definitely closer. And you can see the one thing I like about Adobe Firefly is we are able to just click one of these and we can get a totally different look without having to add something to the prompt, uh, which is really cool. Now, the other thing that you can do is, is you can add these different styles, but what we would have to do is select it and then refresh it. So we can go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and maybe we will use this one right here, cartoon. And then we'll go ahead and hit, generate. All right. So you can see it definitely made this look like a cartoon. So not bad. Let's go on over to mid journey and let's see what it gives us back for this same prompt. All right. So it did come back with some pretty nice looking uh, designs here or some elements. So let's just go ahead and look at them. Now, these are not like cartoons, right? These are, or not like drawings. So now, and this is the downside of mid journey is I will have to now add something to our prompt to try to get that more drawing artistic type of look. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Well, it definitely gave us more of what we were looking for. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's take a look at it up close. So you can see, yeah, it did a pretty good job of giving me that cartoon kind of painted artistic look. So definitely a better job doing it this way. So let's go ahead and now let's try to create that cactus that we would be adding to our image. So in this one here, I put small cactus and terracotta flower pot on white background. Now I am going to leave these where they are because we want this same look, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can go ahead and do that. I'm also going to leave this here selected where it says cartoon. So let's go ahead and generate and see what we get. All right, so this is what it gave us back. Now, a little bit different, this is actually a little bit more cartoonish than I might like. So if I take this off, will it make it better, worse? 
Let's go ahead and find out. And there you go. Uh, it's a little bit better, but it's not perfect. So let's go ahead and play with this just one more thing. Let's try one more thing here. Let's go digital art and let's see what we get. Okay, well, it's, it's similar, but it might be a little bit better. It's not exactly what I would want, but you can see what we have here. Let's go ahead and see what mid journey gives us back. And we will now add in that other command or that other prompt that we used before to make it look more drawing artistic and cartoonish in mid journey. Let's go ahead and do that next. All right. And this is what it gave us, which I think this is going to be better in my opinion. Uh, minus this one right here. That's kind of funny. I put a little smiley face on it. But yeah, these are definitely better, I think, than Adobe Firefly gave us back. Now, does that mean we can't get it out of Adobe Firefly? We probably could, but we're going to have to do some more tweaking. This here was just putting in that extra command that I shared with you before, making it a little bit more artistic or making it more cartoonish. And this is what it gave us, which I think this one and this one is really good. So if we, we kind of zoom in a little bit, you can see. And the other thing is, if we look here, we also would match this one here. So, you know, it's going to be definitely something that if you were going to create that design with that shirt, you would use this one and this one. You would probably pick something like this and maybe this, you know, and then they would go together because they're very similar in colors. So on this one here, I would say that Mid Journey did a better job. All right, so the last one I'm gonna be doing here is creating something like this, more or less the scene here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to create it where it looks similar to this so we could maybe make a farming shirt. So let's go ahead and see what we get. So the prompt I'm gonna be using here is farm scene line art drawing with a barn, a tractor, and cows and rolling hills on white background. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but let's just see what we get. All right, well, these are pretty good, really good. Now, I didn't put anything in here as far as the content type for photo, graphic, or art. I just put in none, but remember, I put in line art drawing. So one thing I'm understanding here and I'm learning is that if I don't wanna use any of these or I wanna just get a better result maybe right out of the gate, I might just wanna put in here that I want it to be a drawing or I want it to be line art. And then you get something like this. So these are all really nice. So that's actually looking like a coloring book page. Uh, you have this one here. Now this might be a little bit too detailed. That doesn't mean that I can't play with it in Canva or Photoshop, but let's go ahead and let's, let's add it here or let's add art to it and see what happens. And once again, not bad, but it looks really, really like a coloring book page to me. Let's go ahead and let's add graphic. Okay, and then here we are. Now, what might be throwing this is the line art. That might be throwing it off here. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but let's go ahead and try one of these themes and let's see if uh, we can get something that might be closer. Let's try the digital art and we'll go ahead and generate it again. And it pretty much kept it the same. So if I wanted to take off the line art, let's go ahead and see farm scene, line art drawing. Let's just... Let's just go ahead and take that out of here and see what we get back. I'll take this off, take that off, and then let's go ahead and run this. And then, like I thought, we were going to get something like this because it doesn't know that we don't want it in full color and all of this stuff. I mean, it's a really you know, nice graphics there that we have, but it's a little bit too much. It's not what I was going after. Let's go ahead and try to do this as art. And then once again, it kind of looks like a cartoon. Let's see if one of these filters might help us. We have wireframe, let's see what that does. And I mean, this kind of gave us a little bit more of what we were looking for, but it's still a little too crisp, a little bit more of a cartoony type of look, and I wanted it to just be really simple. But let's go ahead and see what Mid Journey gives us. All right, so this is what it gave me back from that same prompt that I used in the Adobe Firefly, the very first attempt. Let's go ahead and pull this up so we can look at it. And it looks good, but once again, kind of too much detail. Uh, I don't want all that much detail. But let me go ahead and adjust this prompt, and then I'll go ahead and run it in Adobe Firefly too, just to see what it spits out for us. But what I did here is I took out line art, because I think that maybe putting in line art might be making it too 
crisp or, you know, too detailed. So I put in farm scene art drawing design with a barn, a tractor and cows and rolling hills on white background. Let's see what we get back this time. All right. And this is what came back. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this and we can see, and actually it is a lot better. It's softer. I like this one right here. That's probably my favorite. Um, this one's not bad either. Uh, this isn't bad either. Uh, so these are all pretty good. It's definitely closer, but I think this one here would be the one that I would go with for that type of shirt that I was going after. And let me just click on that so we can zoom in and look at all the, look at all the detail. You can tell it's just softer in those areas. And I definitely would go with that one over the others that we had created. Let's see what Adobe Firefly gives us with that new prompt. All right. So this is what came back. Now, these are great images. I mean, these are beautiful but it's not what I was going after. And I did put in here farm scene art drawing design with a barn, tractor and cows and rolling hills on a white background. It gave me all of that, but it didn't give it to me in that black and whitish look. So I would probably want to go in here and I would select it to be black and white. So I'd go into color and tone. I would make it black and white. And then from there, I would regenerate it. And as you can see here, it definitely did a better job. So if we're going to look through all of these different images, that one, not so good. That one's not really that great either. That one's okay. Not terrible. Um, that's probably the best one out of that bunch. But again, I can come in here and I can uh, put flat colors if I want to. Let's go ahead and do that. And pretty much every time that you do that, it also gives you like a new image. It kind of looks like. So like this one here is different. So I can't really go back to that existing one and edit them. But these are not going to work for me for what I was going after compared to the last ones we just saw in mid journey. So if I was to grade these and say, what one would I rather work with? Well, as far as usability, as far as going in there and making adjustments, Adobe Firefly, but getting the result I'm looking for, I think mid journey version five is definitely, definitely closer to what I'm looking for right out of the gate without having to do a whole bunch of reworking. So who's the winner in my opinion? I think mid journey version five right now, as it stands now is Adobe going to be making adjustments. Most likely it will become even better. I truly believe that. So if you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch another video of me walking you through creating a design from scratch and then turning it into multiple products, watch this video next and I'll see you there.